stomach. So uh, this presentation is going to be about just repeat um, ideas for a potential taxonomic or taxonomy working group within Neotoma. Um, as uh, we all know, there's lots of taxonomic issues, wide range involves all the groups, IT, general management, and Jack and uh, Jessica and others have uh, long considered the idea that maybe it would be good to get people together to address some of those issues, to have some one or more working groups. So they asked Allison and I to put together a presentation on our, uh, how, how that might work. And so I, I think it's important to, to point out that there currently is no taxonomic working group. And the purpose of this presentation is to throw out some ideas, some suggestions for you all to consider, uh, to talk about in the breakout and discussion section sessions. Um, and so hopefully with some of the input that we get that would provide information to move forward. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so, so the overall rationale for having a taxonomy working group is that there are many taxonomy related issues that need to be addressed. They involve and need input from the constituent databases, the stewards, Neotoma IT and various other groups. Um, and so, so it requires them getting together and talking and considering issues. There's currently no group that focuses specifically on those issues in detail. They're, they're generally considered in uh, leadership groups and, and other groups, but there's no formal way of uh, working with those particular uh, issues. And there's a more immediate need to set priorities for the upcoming proposal in August. So we'll go with that. Okay, next slide. Okay, just a quick rundown of some of the taxonomy issues of concern that potentially could be addressed by this taxonomy working group. Uh, you could probably give a presentation on each of these. Um, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but just, um, I, just, just review them quickly. I think people would be pretty familiar with in general, what's meant by most of, them, most of them. So we have the beginning with the taxon taxonomic names and the data structure and the need to clean up errors and consistencies. And I think Stefan and Simon gave a good overview of a lot of the issues involved there. There's various issues with how names are added to Tilia, and Simon mentioned uh, possibilities of some new new ways of adding and managing the taxa list. There's the issue of synonyms and undescribed taxa. Uh, a lot of complex issues there, and of course, varies amongst the different groups. Um, another big one is harmonization. Uh, we had a lot of different kinds of data sets. A lot of different sets of taxa names. We want to be able to get data out in somewhat of a consistent way so that we can have tax taxonomic consistency in the, the way we get that out. There's not, uh, well, there's a, a wide range of ways of people approach that. Most of them, it's, well, some of them maybe involve working within the Neotoma data set, but I think most of them involve uh, getting data out and then doing this harmonization outside of Neotoma. So a question uh, maybe how can that, be, what can be incorporated in Neotoma, in Neotoma database and using R. Uh, as Simon mentioned, the use of external taxonomic resources, they're already used, I think extensively in terms of sources of data, but there's a lot of opportunities and, and advantage of being able to link those databases to uh, the Neotoma database itself. And uh, I, I think Simon went over some of the some of those advantages. There's issues with bulk upload of names. Uh, and though and then though not necessarily directly related to 
taxonomy, there is the issue of ecological groups and assigning taxa to these. There, based on comments I've seen, there's certainly a need to reconsider the design of uh, ecological groups and how they're used, the, the redesign of how the data are incorporated in the Neotoma database. Uh, a couple others here that uh, Allison uh, recommended and I, and I was concerned for the Ostracod database is uh, making sure that there is a link between an original name that was used in a study and a more updated name that may be used in uh, Neotoma, either as a synonym or part of the harmonization process. And then way down here at the bottom um, is a need to be able to search for taxa by synonym and uh, maybe have this be done using the R resources. Okay, so that's this kind of a quick view just to point out that there are a lot of issues. Okay, uh, next slide. Okay, so what might be potential goals of this working group. There is a short-term and long-term. The short-term, something over the next few months, considering options and providing input for the proposal that will be, the proposal that we submitted in August. A uh, longer term would be to actually have a way of dealing with a lot of the issues and coming up with solutions. And so this would involve further clearly defining what issues are, prioritizing them, considering alternative solutions, uh, creating uh, a basic working group and then maybe subgroups that will work on particular issues, trying to find people who can help with that given that everybody's really uh, busy, um, although people have a uh, very strong vested interest in some of the issues, so probably be willing to work on that. Uh, set up and monitor a schedule for the work, and then finally to uh, prepare and help implement a set of recommendations, possibilities. Uh, next slide. When they're done with work on particular issues, some potential products would include recommendations for the Neotoma data structure, changes in Tilia, uh, one good thing might be updated and more comprehensive protocols for use by stewards and others who have to deal with a lot of the, a lot of the issues. So right now there are a lot of uh, pieces of protocols that deal with these issues, but there many of them are in different places, uh, and they're not always consistent, and uh, many need to be updated. Uh, but the idea would be to have something that would apply to databases overall, and that could be linked to the very specific protocols that individual constituent databases already have. Um, also, maybe some clarification of the roles and responsibilities of stewards, uh, Neotoma IT, and others. And then uh, some uh, procedures for addressing constituent database taxonomic issues as they arrive. As, as they arise. So uh, it's not uncommon for people putting in data or trying to figure out how to put their, add their data to Neotoma. They have various questions about how they deal with taxonomic issues. So maybe if there were a group or, um, it, well, it's, it's a group that might be set up to handle those questions specifically. What They may be able to answer them directly or they can make sure that they get the questions get directed to people who can do that. Okay, next slide. <clears throat> uh, some things that a working group might do, potentially, uh, <clears throat> they can have some initial meetings and uh, develop work plans, might involve sending out questionnaires to get specific data, uh, invite participants, uh, maybe some special uh, Zoom calls that might be, some of them might be to discuss issues, but some of them might be just simply to provide a uh, background, like 
<clears throat> the presentations today from Simon, um, and then <clears throat> reviews of what some of the issues are, like Stefan presented. Uh, and then finally drafting documents that could be sent to people for uh, review and acceptance. Okay, next slide. Okay, so those are some thoughts about what a taxonomic working group might uh, involve. So then the next step in this Tuesday session is to discuss some of these ideas, give you an opportunity to talk about your concerns and make your suggestions, discuss them. So we're gonna have 30 minutes of breakout groups. We would like people to discuss some particular issues, which I'll, uh, I'll mention in a minute. And then uh, maybe you choose, maybe you don't choose a person to help lead the discussion, but you should choose somebody that's going to help document what you have to say and what your recommendations are. And uh, we have a way of providing you a, a place to do that, which I'll also mention in a minute. So Socorro <clears throat> is going to create these breakout groups, randomly assign people to those groups. So you will <clears throat> at some point <clears throat> appear uh, with a uh, your group in, in Zoom, assuming most of you have worked with breakout groups before. <clears throat> 